Hi guys, I'm Ryan Newsman and welcome to my flight hunting channel. If you haven't already done so, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Uh, that'll keep you up to date with everything as I upload it. Uh, my channel already contains hundreds of videos covering a wide range of both patterns and techniques from the basic to the more advanced. Uh, so without delay, let's get on with the show. Hi guys, uh, so tonight what we're going to do is tie, uh, it's a duck fly imitation. So a duck fly is a type of buzzer. Uh, that hatches here in Ireland and uh, this is an old pattern uh, for representing this so it's uh, called the black and orange we have here a size 12 B175 and you can use orange silk or you can use black silk here so if you tie the body is going to be uh, orange floss so if you use an orange underbody then when the fly gets wet it'll uh, be a truer orange and if you use black then it, as it gets wet it'll be slightly darker. I'm going to use black. So as you can see I'm holding the loose bit of thread up here and that helps as you're wrapping down to guide each next wrap down. It sort of slides down along it. get to the point and nick that off. So for the tail on this fly we're going to use a uh, golden pheasant uh, tippet. I'm going to nip the center out of a feather. And I'm going to pull back and leave five or six fibers on each side. Fairly sparse kind of a tail. Tie that in on top and then we can pull it to length with uh, by pulling the stock with the feather here. So I want that about half to three quarters the length of our body. Then I'm going to tie forward here across what's left of the tie and the reason for that is that we're having a floss body here or a silk body so therefore we want a nice smooth underbody for it. And then having tied forward I'm now going to tie backways with my rib so my rib is a fine gold oval. I'm going to just hold this down on my side so that it's kind of slightly underneath the shank. Tie forward again. Again trying to get the underbody fairly smooth. And then I'm going to make my body out of this, which is an orange floss. So as it's a size 12, I'm going to go down in single thickness. I'll tie it in at the front here. Don't worry about the number of wraps, we can take some of those off. Wrap this backwards and you can see the silk has sort of flattened itself out a little bit and that helps us with getting a nice neat cover. So we get down to the tail and then I'm going to come forward and I'm just wiggling it here to try and widen that out again as we wrap. Once it is flat I'll speed up. We get to the tie in of it. These this second layer is now covering and tying in the first so we can practically take off all of those wraps that we're tying it in if we want. want. A little bit of taper at the 
Right there. And tie those in. Hold them up under tension. Get our scissors in and trim off those tag ends. And then we'll take our rib and rib the body. So standard ribbon is usually around about five turns. Tie that off. Pull it forward in line with the shank and tie forward. Pull it up, trim it off. So that's the body of our fly done. Uh, so this fly has a black hackle or throat. So you could wrap a small hackle. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, pull off some fibers of a natural black cape or feather. Sorry, I'm going to hold that underneath and measure it to length. So what I want here is to measure it. It's up to yourself. You could tie it in quite short there and tie it in just to the point. I'm going to sort of measure it up to this level with about the barb or so and then pinch it underneath and then once it's in place tie it up and tight. Then we'll get in here with our scissors. And trim off the tie ends. Wax up the thread. Tie that down. And to finish the fly off, we're going to put wings on it. So the wings on this are from a crow. So I'm going to take two feathers right and left. A crow. I'm going to snip out a slip of the same size, one from each feather, and pair them up. So once you have them paired up. You can check them that they're the same width and if they're not you pull fibers off one or other until you get it the same. Mount that up on top. I'll sort of separate them out a little bit, hold them in place, pinch the loop round the bottom, up and pull. neat little wing for us. If any of the fibres are out of place we can trim them off. And we'll hold that up, scissors in, trim it off. You will need very sharp pointy scissors if you're going to be doing this sort of work. The top fibre there, I'm going to stroke it to see can I get it to marry back. finish our fly. So just tie off the points here. Whip finish or half hitch whatever you do. I use my hands. Trim it off. And then it's time to varnish. So I'll use a clear varnish. that time to dry. 
and then probably add another coat. But that is our black and orange, so a traditional duck fly pattern. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, then like, subscribe, tell your friends. Check out the other videos that we have on the channel. And until next time, tight lines. And thanks for watching.